and all the people say So it is currently 4.30 in the afternoon right now. I just woke up. I'm currently working a 12 hour shift, a 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift. I'm coming back, I'm taking a shower, I'm going right to sleep to like three, four, and then I'm hitting the gym right before I have to go to work. Easily, I'm sure there's a ton of people this week because we're working these crazy hours this week. I'm easily, I bet there's a lot of people that are just, you know, uh, skipping the gym and shit because of the shift and crap. But if you guys want something, you gotta make it work. If that means, you know, getting six to seven hours of sleep, then go and hit the gym before you have to work. Then you gotta do it. But we're about to go hit this chest workout and then go get some food. So let's go. All right, so we just got to the gym. Today is a chest day for hypertrophy. So we're gonna do a lot of volume. We're probably gonna be working with about five sets of probably 2015, 12, 10, 8, or I'll mix it up depending on how I feel. But I'm probably gonna do a voiceover for the stuff so I can explain all the exercises and the way my split, my workout regimen works. So go over that right now. The pre-workout's kicking in, so I'm gonna get in there right now and I have to go to work in a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna go get some food out in Tokyo. So, hope you guys enjoy. So we started out this chest workout pretty much with the, uh, this is a Smith Machine incline press. You guys see I'm using both hand, uh, one handle at once because I'm kind of just isolating one side of my chest. Uh, so my split right now, like I said, I have uh, one heavy strength day, so I'll do about five sets of three reps for just about strength. Uh, so like a power building kind of thing or power lifting thing and then other days I have a hyperbole day a lot of volume So I'll do pretty much in here. I'll probably put the sets in here, but I do a uh, 20 15 12 10 8 so five sets of that with high reps um, You guys want to just like you guys always want to do a couple of isol uh, Isolation exercises because your dominant side of every muscle group is always going to be bigger than the other one But you can minimize like the drastic difference if you guys work on an isolated like I'm doing with one arm here I was super tired during this freaking workout because it was just my sleep schedule was so messed up, my REM cycle, all that stuff. I was sleeping during like when I used to be sleep. I was sleeping, I was working when I used to be sleeping and sleeping when I used to be working. So the training was off a little bit, but you know, a, a crappy workout's better than you know not going at all. But I did what I did. I put in some work, and I you know I try not to get my ego, let my ego get the best of me. Um, I started off, I, I usually, usually start out with flat bench and stuff, but it, the gym was so crowded because only one side of the gym was open because it was closed. So we went over to some flat bench. Uh, we did the incline first and we did some flat bench. And for the flat bench, guys, you want to make sure when you guys lay down, you see me lay down here. Um, you guys want to just, you know, get yourself positioned. I like put my feet back and then just like scoot yourself back. Make sure you guys have a little arch in your back. You kind of want to retract your scapula, like your shoulder blades into the pad and then unrack it and, you know, touch chest come up. And I did this for 2015, 12, 10, 8. And if you guys don't know too, you guys should really track your reps and weight. So, you know, that way every week, you, you know, you're moving up. You're going to have some weeks where you're not as good as you did last week. But as long as you track your stuff and you be consistent and you guys are seeing improvement over time, then you know your training is right. And if you guys don't see that, then your diet or your training is not right. But that's why I love tracking it, just to see myself progress. Because progression and progressive overload for the muscle is key for muscle growth and progressing in the gym. Uh, next exercise, we did the butterflies or the pec flies, whatever you want to call them. I was super freaking tired on this one. You guys see, I did, the, the, I believe I did this. Like, I can push the whole stack on this easy, but I was so fatigued. Like, I wouldn't do the whole stack on a, a hypertrophy day. But you make sure you guys, too, make sure you guys just scoot it all the way back. Your legs are spread out for support, and you can get that stretch. The thing I like about this machine is you can actually set the, um, you know, the bars to however you, uh, wide you want, so you get, like, a bigger stretch. I did this for 20, so 20, 15, 12, 10, 8 again for this. Um, so this is like a good way like so like basically I have the strength day to build uh, like just strength so heavy heavy day And then I have a perfect day for like a bodybuilding and muscle growth uh, muscle building day, too So that's pretty much what I did here, but I was tired after 20 I was like squeezing but this one you get it like a stupid pump in your chest and stuff But at this point I was getting close because the gym was so packed I was waiting forever So I just kind of changed things up. I never really do dips because my shoulders are killing me but I just, you know, kind of did some burnout with some dips right there. I wasn't feeling it that way, so I was too tall hitting the machine. The other dip machine was being used. So I cranked out a couple dips. I was feeling good. I was still feeling super tired, even with pre-workout. I think I was building a tolerance for my pre-workout. So I don't think I'll be freaking taking that for a couple days. That's pretty much up my chest workout. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more of these commentaries or breakdowns of uh, me working out, let me know in the comments below. Well, that was literally one of, like, 
the worst sessions I've had in a while. Literally, like, everything I was doing, I was getting really tired quickly. Uh, I think it's because, like, I'm working 7 a.m. Uh, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., so it's, like, totally fucking up my sleep schedule. So I'm just I'm getting, like, fatigued so quickly. Like, I was doing my first couple sets of, like, the incline uh, Smith & Machine press that you guys saw, and I was getting tired. My triceps hurt. And the bench press, like, I was putting up one, I mean... 185 and getting tired and it was only like to hit it like three times so the lack of sleep and my sleep schedule like I said all getting fucked up is getting to me but a shitty training sessions better than no training so he'll be back on point next week so yeah Go, you little bastard. Come on. So if you guys don't know already, obviously I don't live here. The airport doesn't give us our own freaking house, unless you're married. Um, just watching my friend's house right now, because he's away on leave and stuff back in the States. So I'm only watching his house for about another week and a half or so, watching his cat and his dogs. So I'm pretending that they're mine for now, but a month from now, in December, after I go to Guam, I'm introducing somebody to the channel. You guys have pretty much already guessed it already. And uh, you'll see my dogs. I can't wait to see my freaking puppies back on the channel again. Take advantage of the house, the kitchen and shit. Uh, I, one thing I do have to invest in again when I get back to my dorm is to buy a blender. Blenders are cheap as shit. I don't know why I haven't bought one before because literally I've been making peanut butter protein smoothies and then I just throw in like two servings of peanut butter which is like 400 extra calories so I have to eat less food because right now I'm eating 3,900 calories to bulk. That's just I'm eating a little above my maintenance. And sometimes it's really tough for me to hit those numbers because I'm just so full and stuff. And even though I love eating, sometimes it just gets a lot. And you're just like, oh, you're just like, so peanut butter is high calorie, easiest thing to eat. Definitely going to invest in this blender, but yeah. It's actually my second time coming here, not to this one, it was the second time having Indian curry. Um, I had it in August when I was up in Hokkaido for a TDY for the military. It's actually pretty good. It's, a, it's pretty different than Japanese cur curry, but it's kind of similar, kind of different. But I got naan, chicken, and curry. Shit, what I got. So I went with the buttered chicken curry, and then... Chicken tikka, which is pretty much just chicken balls, I think. I had it once, pretty good. Then, just like Coco's, they have the cheese naan. Thank you. We have the chicken. It's pretty much breaded chicken cutlet balls. Looks like some salad and some dressing right there. We have some chicken cutlet curry, chicken pieces in there. Pretty good. It's pretty similar to what I had when uh, in August. And then this is the naan. The only thing different about the naan versus Coco's is this one is stuffed with mozzarella cheese. So this looks pretty good. All right. So just had Indian curry. I am so full. I haven't even. I didn't even eat anything at all today. I was so nauseous. So I was like, I have to go eat something. And I found this Indian curry place that I really want to go to. Like I was trying to say in the beginning, first of all, that restaurant was so small. There was like two people working there and it was so cramped. Like, be like voices were echoing and shit. So if I like, I didn't vlog much, like talk much into the camera. If I did, it was really quiet because like if I talked, I would have been so obnoxiously loud in there. It was good though. I had uh, cheese naan, which is like stuffed with mozzarella cheese, kind of like dough. And then had uh, like three or four like chicken balls, I think it was. And then had a chicken cutlet curry. Uh, it's different than Coco's like you guys saw in a previous video. They don't have rice in it, it's just curry with the chicken. It was really good though, but there's a lot of things coming to this channel soon. Uh, a quick motorcycle update. Waiting on the headlight should be here any freaking time. It shipped the beginning of October, but if you don't ship it priority, it doesn't get here for like a month or so. So I'm waiting on that because I can't leave base without a headlight. And then uh, I'm actually really debating on it. Now that I'm full, I don't want to do it, but when I'm hungry, I do want to do it. The 10K 
calorie challenge. I know you guys probably have seen them pretty much eat 10,000 calories in a day. Um, I think it'd be pretty unique to do it in Japan. So if you guys want to see me do the 10K calorie challenge, drop it in the comments below right now and I'll do it maybe next week. Like, uh, I don't know if I can do it. I love food, but it's a lot. So there are some tricks and shit. Obviously you can't drink your calories, but I'll probably wake up really early to do it. Just to, you know, be able to put more food into my body. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm also working on a good video too, which might actually get a lot of views. So I'm redoing a day in the life of the uh, of United States Airmen. I'm gonna make this one make this one a lot better and try and record more stuff when I'm allowed to. So hopefully that will be up in a couple weeks. The 10K Cali Challenge, depending on if you guys want me to do it, let me know below. I'll do that. Um, I'm going to Guam in a month, so I'm at least gonna get two or three videos out when I'm in Guam. And I'm going home on leave, so there's going to be a lot of videos on home on leave. And I'm introducing someone to this channel. So this channel is going to be freaking popping in the next couple months. A uh, couple weeks, I should say. But yeah, if you guys are stopping for the first time, make sure you guys subscribe right now. Because there's going to be a lot of good videos coming out in the near future. If you guys want to see more gym vlogs, anything, food vlogs, please let me know right now in the description below so I can make them more for you. This channel's not all about me, it's all about you guys. I love making content for you guys and helping people out. So, if you, haven't, if you haven't done so already, make sure you guys turn my notifications on. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram. The link's in the description. It's also going to be at the end card of this video. And I'll catch you next Sunday.